Good morning, students. We are discussing on pavement design and highway construction. But today's topic is symptoms causes treatments of defects and will be observed in flexible pavement. Previously, we have seen different cracks, different surface defects. Today's session is to understand one more defect in the flexible pavement, and that defect is nothing but the deformation. Any changes in the shape of pavement from its original shape that is generally known as the deformation. It may be associated with slippage, it may be associated with ruttings. Okay. The treatment measures the aim at the removal of the cause and bringing it to the original level by filling or by removing the entire affected part and replacing it with the new material. So let's start the discussion with the different different deformations in the flexible pavement. The first deformation that is the slippage. Okay, if we talk about the symptoms of slippage, slippage is the relative movement between the surface layer and the layer beneath. It is characterized by the formation of crescent shaped cracks as you can see in the figure the crescent shaped cracks that point in the direction of the thrust of the wheel on the pavement surface. This does not mean that the cracks invariably point in the direction the traffic is going. For an example, if brakes are applied on a particular vehicle going down a hill, the thrust of the wheel will be pointing the uphill. The cracks in this case will therefore the point uphill. Okay, if we talk about the location uh, of slippages, the slippage of bituminous surface normally occur along the wheel path of heavy vehicles. At what place the heavy vehicles move on that particular road along that particular path, such type of cracks may be occurred. Okay, now what are the causes? The slippage is caused by unusual thrust of wheels, inadequacy of tack cord or the prime coat we provide on the surface or lack of bond between the surface and the lower course. Also the failure of bond between two different layers due to the excessive deflection of the pavement. Okay, these are the causes. If we talk about the severity level, the slippage may be classified as low severity and the high severity. In case slippage is at isolated in particular lane, so that kind of severity or that kind of deformation is known as the low severity deformation. But if in case the slippage is along the wheel path in the entire lane or the carriageway, that time such deformation is known as the high severity deformation. Now next question that is the treatment. How we can treat such uh, defects. So for that the rectification that consists of removing the surface layer around the affected area and the layer that underneath the exist and patching the area with the premix material. First take out the damaged area and then apply the layer with the premix material after the tech. Okay, this is the simple uh, treatment for slippage. The next deformation that is the rotting. If we talk about the symptoms of such deformation, then first of all the rotting. What is rotting? The rotting is the longitudinal depression or groove in the wheel track. Rutting is characterized into 
three types and it defined by the cause or the layer in which the rotting occurs. It can be characterized by two components of the original pavement profile that get changed which are first the direct consequence of permanent deformation and the downward deformation. If we talk about the uh, location of rutting, the rutting generally appears along the wheel path as we uh, seen in the slippage. Okay. The next that is what are the causes. There are many causes of rutting. Let's uh, discuss here few important causes. There is a maximum chance to such kind of deformation. The first cause is heavy channelized traffic. Okay. The next is inadequate compaction of the mix whenever you are applying the upper surface or the subbase surface okay where you are providing the compaction if that compaction is inadequate at such cases such rutting or deformation can be occurred the next is the improper mix design wherever you are applying a uh, bituminous mix and that mix is not properly designed such time this kind of deformation can be occurred. The next is the severity level. Rutting may be classified as the low severity when the rutting is 4 to 10 mm deep. If the depth is more than 10 mm, it considered as the high severity rutting. Okay. The next that is the treatment. How we can, how we treat the rutting. The rectification consists of filling of ruts with premix material those are open graded bituminous or as dense graded bitumen okay and then after we have to compact that particular layer at the desired level okay the location or uh, then after the location of depression are fixed first marked on that particular surface and then limits are determined with the particular string lines after applying the suitable tech coat and the premix is spreaded and then compacted. The next deformation that is corrugation. If we talk about the symptoms and what is corrugation, let's discuss the corrugation is the formation of irregular undulation as here shown in figure across the bituminous surface is generally known as the corrugation. These are usually of a shallow about 25 mm and are different from the larger depression that caused by the weakness of the lower layer. Generally, the spacing of such kind of waves uh, is about a 2 to 3 meter. Okay, the corrugation can be a source of discomfort during the driving, as many a times we uh, face such kind of discomforts on the uh, while we are driving. So that is the corrugation. Now talking about the location, corrugation may occur near the wheel path or in the entire lane or the carriageway. About the causes, the corrugation occur due to the reason of lack of stability in the mix. Next is faulty laying of surface cores or the insufficient rolling that is insufficient compaction. So these are the reason, main reason why such corrugation occurs. So if, then if we talk about the treatment of corrugation, if the surface is thin, including some portion of the underlying base and the sacrificed material, those should be recompacted. Then a new surface layer should be laid over that old surface and the cutting of high spot with blade with or without heating them and the additional of labeling coarse material can also be restored. The spreading of sand bituminous premix with a drag sprayer with its blade that adjusted to just clear the high spot that can also be an effective way to make up the corrugation deformations okay after all this process lastly again we have to roll the whole area which get affected with the corrugation 
okay now after the corrugation the next deformation that is the showing talking about the symptoms of showing showing is a form of a plastic movement within the bituminous layer that are resulting in bulging of the pavement surface the showing occurs characteristically at points where the traffic starts and stops on the hill roads or where the vehicles accelerate or the brake on that grades also on some sharp curves the first indication of showing appears in the form of slippage cracks which are crescent in shape then with the apex of the crack pointing in the direction of the show the showing occur near the wheel path as a live example we can say uh, the brts uh, stands at brts stands you might observe that when that bus uh, stops and starts the journey that particular spots you will get the showing deformation okay now if we talk about the cause what are the cause of such deformation first is lack of stability in the mix lack of bond between the bituminous surface and the underlying layer heavy traffic movement involving the negotiation of curves and the gradient there is no any severity that applicable and if we talk about the treatment of such deformation the rectification that consists of removing the material in the effect from the affected area to a firm base and that laying a stable premix patch over the surface many times we have seen that few uh, area is redeveloped or repaired on the particular surface with the dark uh, uh bituminous surface that is premix patch that we provide and then after we have to roll that particular surface so that it can match the uh, adjoining surfaces thickness with the particular pavement okay so this is the treatment for the showing after that the next deformation that is shallow depressions shallow depressions are isolated low areas of limited size dipping about 25 mm or more below the profile where water will normally become the stagnant okay the shallow depression may or may not be eventually accompanied by cracking of surfaces this may be also lead to the further deterioration of the surface and also cause the discomfort and unsafe surface to the traffic here you can uh, you might see here this is the shallow depression this area if you observe it uh, with the concentration then you will you will definitely uh, see that there is a shallow depression on that particular surface and at such places that rain water or the extra water that uh, comes on that particular roads okay that get stagnant over there okay so these are the shallow depressions if we talk about the location the shallow depressions are generally restricted to the wheel path or the heavy traffic lanes well talking about the causes the shallow depressions are caused by isolated settlement of lower pavement layers due to pocket of inadequacy compacted or the subsequent pavement layers uh, if uh, you can see here many of the causes are because of the lack of compaction or inadequate compaction so make sure whenever you are constructing a particular layers you must have to compact that layer very very precisely and adequately okay so that such cracks will not get there is no severity level is applicable so if you talk about the treatment of shallow depressions the shallow depressions are made up by filling the premix materials those can be of uh, open graded or it can be of dense graded and that compacted to the desired profile as the surrounding pavement so that it can match 
Now next uh, deformation that is settlement and upheavals. Settlements and upheavals are characterized by relatively large deformation of the pavement that compacted to shallow depression. These are the dangerous to the traffic and it causes the reduction in speed of traffic. These are generally followed by the extensive tracks over the pavement surface in the affected region. If we talk about the location, settlements may be along the wheel path or at isolated location on the carriage. While uh, inadequate compaction, excessive moisture in the subgrade and inadequate pavement thickness are the cause of such kind of deformations. There is no any severity level is applicable and if we talk about the treatment then if the settlements and upheavals indicate any inherent weakness in the feeling, it may be necessary to estimate the defective feel and do the fresh embankment under properly controlled condition. The material that having the good drainage quality should be preferred for refreshed embankment and the under drains may become the necessary in such locations where the lack of drainage has been identified okay where the cause of deformation is adequate pavement thickness then properly designed pavement should be provided okay so this is all about the deformations okay firstly we have seen the surface effects then after we have seen cracks and Today, here we have discussed about the deformations. Okay, after the deformation, the next defect that can be uh, that are observed on the flexible pavement, and that is the disintegration. Now, there are more defects which is not rectified immediately that result in the disintegration of the pavement into a small part. And sometimes it loses the fragments. This integration, if not arrested in the earlier stage, that may necessitate the complete reconstruction of the pavement. So it is very important to rectify or to identify such kind of defects on the pavement. If it not get detected. At the earlier stage, it may cause the pavement failure or it may cause the necessity of the reconstruction of pavement. So, let's start a discussion on the disintegration defects. Are uh, The first disintegration defect that is the stripping. This defect is characterized by the separation of between film from the surface of the aggregate particles due to the presence of moisture. This may lead to loss of the bond between the bitumen and the aggregate. If we talk about the location, stripping is either localized or extended to the lane or the entire carriageway. Uh, here in the figure, we have uh, I have tried to show you that what is stripping and how it looks like. Okay. Next, that is the causes. There are many reasons of such kind of uh, disintegration. The main reasons are use of hydrophilic aggregates, also inadequate mix compaction, inadequate mix composition of materials, also continuous contact of water with the cotton aggregates. There may be uh, the reason of use of improper grade of bitumen, okay, occurrence of rainwater, presence of dust and moisture on the particular aggregate surface which are used for the preparation of the base course or the upper layer. These are the important reason. These are the main cause of stripping. If you talk about the treatment of stripping in case of the surface tracing, if you have to apply the surface tracing, in such case the hot coarse sand that heated at least the 150 degrees Celsius, then we have to spread it over the affected areas. That may be used to replace the lost aggregates. After spreading, it should be rolled immediately so that it will be seeded into the bitumen. If aggregates are only partially wiped off, a liquid seal may be the solution. 
in other cases the existing bituminous mix should be removed and a fresh one premix bituminous mix should be laid down over the surface as a precautionary measure a suitable anti stripping agent should be added in the bitumen at the time of the construction the next disintegration defect is ravelling ravelling is defined as progressive separation and dissociation of fine aggregate particles and the binder from the bituminous surface normally the fine aggregates wear away the first followed by the coarse aggregates then the ravelling process generally starts from the surfaces that downwards or from the edge inwards okay the pavement surface laid to rough and jagged appearance after the occurrence of ravelling okay if we talk about the location ravelling may occur on any part of the lane or the carriage way if we talk about the causes that overheating of bituminous inadequate compaction during the construction improper filler materials used or inadequate bituminous content to be used in the uh, mix then traffic stress overloading yes so these are the causes of ravelling when talking about the severity level uh, ravelling may be classified into three categories that is low medium and high severity the low severity is when say, uh, is when the some loss of fines is isolated is associated with initial stage of binder medium is when the loose particle exists with some loss having binder wearing out to a rough surface and the high severity is when the surface is too rough with loss of aggregates well the treatment is also uh, associated or it depends on the uh, severity level if the effect is low uh, is with the low severity level the treatment may be corrected by application then the ravelling may be corrected by application of fox seal sand seal seal coat or the micro surfacing process if the defect is medium level this may be corrected by application of seal coat or the micro surfacing on that particular affected area and if there is a high severity then it depending upon the condition of a raveled surface the high severity raveling may be corrected by single multiple application of liquid seal coat or the slurry seal or the micro surfacing with the thin overlay of appropriate mix specification like mix seal surfacing with surfacing or open graded premix carpet the next is pot holes if you talk about the symptoms of pot holes pot holes are bowl shaped cavities of varying sizes in the bituminous surface if you talk about the location pot holes may occur in any part of the road okay uh, the most common causes of pot holes formation is loss of adhesion in the bituminous wearing coat due to the ingress of water into the pavement or due to the higher void in the surface the pavement get softened as a result of loss of cohesion and under the action of the traffic the formation of pothole is aggravated due to use of plastic filler in the granular base if not attended to in time and properly the aggregates in the surface get progressively loose lack of proper bond between the bituminous surfacing and the underlying water bound macadam base layer can also cause the formation of potholes the insufficient bituminous content and use of too fine aggregates in the mix that also cause the potholes on the road surface if we talk about the severity level the potholes may be classified as a small medium and large level a small potholes is defined as the depth of 25 mm and the width of 200 mm then the medium pothole is defined as 25 to 50 mm deep and 500 mm wide the large potholes are 
those was greater than 50 mm depth and 500 mm width. We talk about the treatment. The rectification consists of filling pot holes with the open graded or the dense graded premix. The pot holes can be repaired by mixes for the immediate use, or that is cold mix process or hot mix process. Also, it can be uh, repaired by storable cold mixes, readily made mixes, or the cold mixes by packing machines. Okay, so by using this treatment, uh, we can repair the pot holes. The next, that is the age breaking. Talking about the symptoms, a common defect in bituminous surface is the age breaking, wherein the age of the bituminous surface gets broken in irregular way as shown in the figure in case the distress is not attended to the particular time that surfacing may peel off in chunks at the edges now the this that particular distress is restricted to the edges only that up to the 30 centimeter from the actual edge so this can be the location where you can uh, get such kind of age breaking defects now if we call, if we talk about the causes of age breaking the infiltration of water which makes the foundation layers weak that cause the pavement edge to get break the worn out shoulders resulting in the insufficient side support to that particular pavement inadequate strength the lower layer of pavement get being wider than the upper layer and too narrow width these are also the reason these are also the cause of edge breaking disintegration if we talk about the treatment the shoulder and the pavement materials in the affected area should be fully removed to a regular section with vertical sides the pavement and the shoulder should be built up to simultaneous width through the compaction between a surface that's similar to that in the adjacent reach should be laid and then the shoulder should have that adequate slope for the drainage of that particular water that slope of one percent steeper than the camber of the bituminous surface okay it should be found generally necessary for the earthen shoulders in order to prevent the edge from getting broken again the maintenance operation should be performed if uh, it's a sandy area where the soil is likely to be eroded by wind and the rain it may be advantageous to have the brick that paving at, at least for some width to protect the edge of the pavement okay the surface and subsurface drainage wherever deficient that should be improved to prevent from the edge breaking defects or the disintegration okay so these are the total defects various defects its symptoms its causes with all this i am concluding this lecture i hope students you get the thorough information thorough knowledge about the various defects in the flexible pavement Thank you so much for your kind attention. We'll see you in the next lecture.